I come to you once again asking for your support. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> Today I have a bit of a niche one for everyone. If you're trying to make affiliate or partner and trying to keep track of your average viewership per stream to make sure you're either not ending too soon or not going too long and bringing down your average, you might be looking for a way to see that average while you are streaming. So that is exactly what we are going to be setting up today. A text source in your stream that will show you your current viewership average in real time. You can even couple this with the source doc plugin, which I quite literally just released a video on and keep the source open in the borders of your OBS setup where only you will be able to see it. Or you can keep it on screen for all to see if you would like. So without further delay, let's get this set up. Now you're going to need three tortillas, a banana, and some peanut butter. Wait, no, that's, that's the wrong tutorial. Right, first thing we want to do is open OBS and create a text GDI source. You can create this in its own scene to nest it or just create it in a specific scene, dealer's choice. Name the source average viewers and set the font however you want or wait to do that until later. Totally up to you. And then click OK. I know that was a lot of hard work, but we are done with OBS and you can now breathe. Woof. <laughs> Next thing we wanna do is open up StreamerBot and click the import button at the top. Now copy the C sharp string from the description below and paste that into the import box, then click OK. You will now have a new action titled Average Viewers, which contains a trigger to update the viewer count and the C sharp code that does all of the other work for you. And all you have to do is create a couple of variables for it to work off of. So at the top, click the variables button and right click in the box to add a new variable. Your first variable will be named scene with a value of whatever scene your text GDI source is in. And then hit OK. Right click one more time and add another variable. This one will be named source and the value will be the name of your text GDI source or average viewers if you went with what I suggested. Now, anytime you are live, you will get an updated average viewer count the entire time you are streaming. I hope you enjoyed this short little tutorial and I want to give a huge shout out to Hustle Crow for writing the C sharp code and Dad Bod Nerd for the request. Thanks everyone for watching and if you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. If you are interested in even more tips, tutorials, or gifts that will make your stream super cool, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments down below, and I will get back to you as soon as I see them. Or you can always come ask them during a live stream. I go live on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Hope to see you in the next video, and until then, take care and stay safe. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, what an idiot.